Hey everybody, it's me, Akasha Wolf. Um, right now, I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm, I have my, like, hair cut and everything like that. Um, but right now, I decided, you know, this would be a really good idea to, um, show you guys how to cleanse and set up your altar, seeing that I finally got mine back. Um, but anyway, um, let me show you my altar really quick before, like, anything. So, as you can see, this is my altar. Let me see. See, this is my altar. I love it. It's so perfect. Just, oh my goodness. I'm so happy just showing this to you guys. As you can see, it's not up that, oh, shit, it almost like fell everywhere. It's not that tall. I, usually I don't have that underneath it, but... I decided I don't want my room to look all cluttery and everything like that. Like right now it's a mess because I just got all my stuff from underneath there and I'm going to be putting it into my altar finally. Or in other words, my witch's cupboard because, yeah. Um, but the top is what I use for an altar, as you can see up here. And then that over there, that's my mom's fairy. Like, <laughs> that's not staying there. It's just up there for now. But the thing is, is that since I just got it back and I got it from a place that I don't really like, it basically has a little bit of negative buildup. And I had uh, did a little sweep through with Dragon's Blood to basically cleanse it up a bit and everything. Um, but anyway, the fact is that, you guys, I'm going to show you how to, you know, get your stuff put up in there and everything like that. Everything that I have, you don't have to have it. Um, it's just an example of, you know, what you're doing and everything like that, like cleansing it and all this other stuff. As, um, the fairy here, I cleansed her before she was put up there. Um, another thing you have to know about your altars, you have to keep them clean. They can't be dusty because basically that is build up of negative energy and everything like that. You want to keep your altar clean. So, I had went through and I had cleaned my altar. But anyway, as you can see, that it's not a very tall thing, but it opens like that. Like, oh my god, it opens. And I love it because the way it has the shelves, it's like perfect setting for like anything. Like, what I'm going to do is I put my herbs, put my candles, my glasses, my bowls, and everything like that. Ooh, the color changed. And I just put it all up in there, all nice and clean and everything like that. But... Right now, I'm about to show you what you can use to cleanse your altar. Okay, everybody. So, as you can see, I have, like, the, alt the what I'm going to use to cleanse my altar and everything. This right here is salt water. And it has been cleansed. I cleansed it. You know, I did my little thing on it and everything. I can't even show you how to do that. But you don't have to cleanse it. You can just have um, salt water. And then, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, that thing right there, yeah, I saw it move, that's a crystal, okay, and that keeps it charged and everything like that. Another stone that I would recommend for in here would be like citrine, but I didn't put mine in there because I only have one on me, and I, I keep it in my bag of stones because, you know, I feel like it keeps them charged and everything like that, but yeah, I, I have to cleanse those anyway. But the point is, is yes, this is what I use for it. Here you have some sage. This I will use to like basically go around it, light it up, and go like all around it and everything. Now, something you can do is you can pour some of this into some into like a little glass like this, and then you can just get your sage and dip it up in there. I'm missing. Dip it up in there and you know just start going like this, like and just start throwing it on there. I'll show you an example of that, but um, you'll do that basically after you, like, done lining it and going through with it and everything like that. Eww. Ah, my eye. Um, but yes, you guys. Or, what you can do is you can wipe it down and you just get a cloth like this. Um, I use purple because that's what I have, but I also like that, you know, it's got, like, protection and everything like this. It kind of reminds me of the amethyst, even though it's not that type of color amethyst. Like, amethyst can be a darker purple, but for now, this is what I use. And my excuse is that the color reminds me of amethyst. Voila. But try to use, like, maybe black or white, or maybe something that makes you feel a little more comfortable. Um, but yes, what you do is you get some of the water, uh, and then you just, you know, 
put some on here you just dip it I don't want to do it because yeah you just dip it and then you wipe it down you see but anyway yeah that's basically what you do how'd this get here oh no that's not charcoal that's the cap never mind I thought it was charcoal but yeah so that's what you do so I'm going to be showing you an example after I light my sage so you guys alright so this is what I'm using you see this little glass right here and it has the salt water and stuff um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sprinkling this on to the altar now um, with the drops and everything you just get a cloth and you can wipe it all down and just basically let you know put it all up in there um, but what I'm doing is since I don't have two hands because I'm using the camera getting the sage and I'm dipping it inside the water well don't do that so as you can see like drips and everything what you're going to be doing is going like this and you're just going to be splashing the water on there um, you can say an incantation or anything like that when you're preparing your altar like anything that makes you feel good or just what works with you like <clears throat> for those of you um, who are like Christian or anything you can like do a prayer or anything on this it doesn't really matter how you do it just make it your own you don't have to do it the way I do it you can do it your own way you can even use holy water I don't have any on me so that's why I'm using this and that that's another thing you know when you go to church and everything like that and they sprinkle holy water that's what basically what you're doing you know but you're doing it with sage instead yeah that's basically all you really have to do with the water but yeah just like how you see in church and how they sprinkle holy water on the people as they go down like you know the middle or the aisle um, and they sprinkle the water that's basically you know what you're doing you're doing it with your altar now you're gonna want to open this back up um, I'm basically kind of showing you two methods or two things you can just do at the same time it's all up to you um, but yes, uh, just kind of think of it as like when you go to church, but you're cleansing your own altar and stuff like that. Um, you know how they walk around with frankincense and myrrh? You can use that for this instead of what I'm about to show you. Um, you can use frankincense and myrrh if it makes you feel better. Um, or yeah, I remember in church with the holy water and everything like that because I fell asleep one time, which was so bad. Like, I was really tired. I didn't get, like, good any good sleep. It wasn't that I was bored or anything, but I was tired. And they were going down the aisle with the holy water, and the priest, like, whacked me with the holy water and woke me up out of my sleep. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I felt really bad. But, like, he got wicked with that stuff. It was hilarious. Um, but, yes, you guys. So, method number two. So you guys, I just lit some sage. Now for those of you who have it, use a sage bundle, okay, instead of this. And uh, for those of you who are pretty young, make sure you're allowed to be using fire. Oh my god, this is like too much smoke. But anyway, what you're going to do is just, you're just going to quickly go through your altar with it. Imagine the energy infusing it and going right all up in there. even down below and then you see that and all you have to do is like to finish it off you can make a pentagram or you can do the cross and that's it okay everybody so I just showed you how to you know cleanse your altar and everything like that um, 
So basically, like, the whole thing you have to do next, like, I had too much smoke in my room because, like, yeah, the beep beep thing almost went off. The fire detector, yeah, it almost went off and I freaked out and I, I couldn't put my fire out and I couldn't find my water. So I, asked, I had to dip it in this cleansed water. But yeah, I'm going to have to make some more. But anyway, so the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cleanse all of the items that you're going to be putting in your altar. Because you want it to be clean on something clean. I had just cleansed everything. Like you remember this bowl from one of my videos. Um, but also like you need to cleanse your herbs and everything like that. You don't have to do it like all hardcore and everything and like uh, put all your energy into it. You can just go by really fast with some like, with an incense. <sighs> like what you do is you just light your incense and then just like go through each item and cleanse it and everything like that. It's not difficult, you know. It's just something that you do like, you know, just really quick. Now if you want to put more time into it, you just hold all your items clean and cleanse them and everything like that. To cleanse them you can use frankincense and myrrh or dragon's blood or sage. A lot of people like to use sage, but I've come to feel like dragon's blood is like a lot more effective. I don't know, I just really love dragon's blood, you guys. That's just, that's just me. For some of you, you might like sage better or frankincense and myrrh or anything like that. Um... But yes, you guys, it's not very complicated. You, you just cleanse everything before you put it into your altar. Um, but yeah. But you guys, like, it's not very difficult. I'm going to show you after I put everything in there how it's going to look. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I look like a dude or something. Like, I don't know. I feel kind of weird. Because um, I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. Um, I just had cut my hair and whatever. I used YouTube to do that. Um... <laughs> No, no, no. Well, anyway, you guys, I just, like, cut my hair and whatever, and people say I look Asian or something. That's what I've been getting a lot of. Like, I look Chinese or whatever they said. I don't know. But I like it. I like it a lot. Like, maybe you guys might not like, like it now because it's not all fixed up and everything, but I do have Christmas pictures because I wore my Santa hat and everything. As you guys can see, these are my nails. They came out kind of crappy because it was right before I went to sleep and, like, I messed them up. And they came out kind of ugly. But look at this bear. He is so angry. Like, he really got messed up when I, when I had fell asleep. And he's, like, the angriest bear on here. My mother looked like, my mother said that he looked like he wants to explode or something. But, yeah, I was, like, heck of Christmas spirit on Christmas or Yule. And it was really, it was really awesome. I enjoyed my Christmas. I hope you guys did. Let me know how you, your guys' Christmas went. Um... I'd, I'd like to know how it went. Like, was it crappy? What did you get? What was your favorite present? Yeah, you guys, tell me that. What was your favorite present that you got? Um, but yes, you guys, I'm going to fix up my altar, and then you'll get to see it right after this. Okay, everybody, there we go. All my stuff put away in my altar. It is so nice. Like, it feels so good to have my stuff put away, like, the right way now. Um... But anyway, guys, uh, as you can see, I didn't get too organized with it. Like, there goes my candles right there, and then, like, my herbs and stuff like that, and even, like, my glass and everything. And I even had, like, a few little random things tossed in there. As you can see, that's not glass. Um, but, yes, right there, this is, like, my little incense. It holds my incense. See? It has some incense in there. I don't know if you can see it too well. It has the comb ones. Um, but yeah, I used to get my divination tools and everything up here. Um, most of them are like divination tools. Others are like, uh, stuff that I'm going to put on top of my altar. Like, if you have like a two shelf thing, you might want to put your stuff that you like to put on top of your altar on the first shelf. So that way it's like ready to just toss up there. Because, um, I don't know. Like, I don't really keep my altar set up. Um, because I have little brothers and sisters and they like to come in and touch everything. Um, but there's a thing you can, there's a way you can fix that. And I think I'm going to do it too. After I explain it to you guys, I'm going to like do different ways of 
keeping them out of your stuff. But yeah, you can see my tarot cards back there. I have oils right there and also right up over there. And yeah, and even you see that box right there? Not the golden one, but the black one underneath it. There's like, I actually have that prepared as a gift. There's like a gift in there. And basically I keep like what I had set on it inside. It's like a bag of stones and it's for a friend of mine who needs it. Um, but yeah, you guys, it doesn't have to be all pretty or anything like that. I have my incense and then my powdered incense and bricks and stuff over there. But it doesn't have to be all complicated and everything like that. But as you can see, voila, there we go. And then after that, you know, you just close it up. And then there you go. So you guys, I hope I helped you out. Um, I know I look really weird. I'm like really tired and all this other stuff and my face looks bad. You guys probably thinking, oh my god, Akasha, you look so gross without makeup. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope that helped you out. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, sorry if it was really long. <laughs> Bye, you guys, and blessed be.